on to our legal debate. An ESPN reporter is under fire after an ugly tirade that was caught on tape. The reporter, Britt McHenry, unleashed a torrent of abuse against a worker at a towing company. Now, the reporter was suspended for a week, but ESPN is under fire for not sending her packing for good. Our legal panel is here to weigh in, attorney Nick Fortuna and Fox News legal analyst Lisa Wheel. Welcome to you both. Great to have you here. I first want to give people a sense of what this woman said, because it's pretty appalling. Listen to this. This is uh, the reporter, Britt McHenry. I'm in the news, sweetheart. I will do this place. Okay, that's fine. And I'll play your video, so careful. I'll play the video. That's why I have a degree in so, yeah, that beep was the sound of a word that starts with F that right, had to be right. hurled at this uh, at this poor worker. Wouldn't she have a morality clause? Absolutely. In her contract, contract, they can fire her for that. You know that even when you're not on duty, if you're on television, which she certainly made well known to that person there, that employee there, that she's on television. I mean, please. Um, you have to behave appropriately because you can't damage the reputation of the company, ESPN the sick. They can fire her. It's an at-will state even beyond that, but they have cause to fire her. Let's listen to another thought from her, another statement from her so you can get more of a flavor of what this was like. Do you feel good about your job so I could be a college dropout and do the same thing? Why could have a brain and you don't? Looks like that. Maybe if I was missing some teeth, they would have me. Yeah, if you had to touch your root down a little bit. Oh, like yours? Well, they look so stunning because yeah. I'm on television and you're on a Trailer, honey. Lose some weight, baby yeah. girl. Lose some weight, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> she looked right in the cameras. She knew she, she knew. was being recorded, right? So, Nick, to you, uh, whew. Well, what do you, you make know, of this, let, my friend? Let, let, let's not get lost in the fact that, uh, you know. Reprehensible. Uh, that, the comics are kind of the comments are kind of nasty, but it doesn't implicate a violation of the let's say a typical broad morals clause. Lisa's why right that if it's a, yeah, why not? If it's a, because an employee has to have notice of the type of conduct that would violate the morals clause. Here we have a situation where she is has some righteous anger. They improperly towed her car. This is a company with not a great reputation. Even if it, they improperly towed her car, why would she bless out this right. poor and woman this working done nothing because, there? Because, well, the, first of all, the woman is working there. They, that company took her car without justification. She's standing between her and her car. There's going to be some righteous anger that's hard to suppress. Then be, then be angry about it, but don't go with those personal attacks. I, and Look, the morality I can't justify the personal attacks, but... Right. but, but now you want to take the personal tax in a private setting in, a, in the bowels of some towing company trailer. But that's department. what the morality clauses are all about. It's that you can't you can't damage or tarnish the reputation of the company that you're working for, whether you're on television at work all or right, off, she, off she, duty. She didn't, she didn't damage the reputation of ESPN. She didn't mention she worked. I think that's oh. a, I think that's up in the air. Yeah. Uh, what should ESPN have done? Did they do the right thing? Nick? I, I think ESPN has a lot of inve invested in this employee. She's very successful. She get, gets a lot of big interviews. They trained her. They shouldn't be forced to fire her just because of today's internet fury. I, I, I just, I just don't see how people are going to want to tune into her. A week from now, a week, other people of ESPN and other networks are suspended for two weeks, three weeks, you know, months. Uh, one week is barely enough time to take a, you know, take a quick vacation. All right, I'm going to read her. I'm going to read her apology. Okay. I allowed my emotions to get the best of me. I should always choose to be respectful and take the high road. I am so sorry for my actions and will learn from this mistake. Mm -hmm. She never addresses the woman directly, no, right? No, Which no, is no. unforgivable. Woman. I, I mean, I kind of agree with that. But the issue is, the issue is, if you were taking a poll and you said, and you walked down the streets in New York City, every day I see people acting much worse than her. But they don't have morality told, clauses in their well, contracts. Well, the situation is, a morality clause is, are you acting so outside the bounds of expectation? Yes. Behavior that you, you, you know. All right, one other point I want to make, make before we go, things. and we're going to have to go shortly. So if you look at the kinds of suspensions that have begun mm -hmm. to other ESPN employees, this blows my mind. Bill Simmons, a three-week suspe right. suspension for calling out his bosses. Tony uh, Korn. Heiser, two weeks uh, suspension. We're talking about Hannah Storm's skirt. Mm -hmm. They get more heavy duty suspensions than, than she, she did. Does. That, was on, that was on the job. They did things that were on the job within their scope of employment. Here she is showing up 
not even dressed for work. You, you know, you're getting to the point where you're going to say, well, your hair doesn't look good, your no, makeup isn't no, good. No, no, this was just so mean. And she did bring ESPN too, because she herself said several times, I'm on TV, as if that was making her but better than this woman. That, first of all, no, she identified herself. The judge is coming in, and the judge is saying no, she's out. Wrong. That's what the judge out. says. I, judge I, Willis says. I, I, I judge think, Willis. I think we have a better argument than that. Nick and Lise, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.